Constants are some of the hardest questions on SAT math. I've compiled five constant questions and we're going to solve them. I'm assuming you know what a constant is, but if you don't, all you need to know is that a constant is an unchanging value, a constant one. Okay, so this is the first problem. This problem gives us an equation and tells us two points that land on the equation. We're looking for the constant k, and one of the points is in terms of k while the other gives us a pure value, negative four. So let's pull up Desmos to find the value on the second point. We know y is equal to negative four, so if we make this line, we can find the x value. The value is eight, and if we solve on the original expression, we can simply tell that k equals zero. Okay, let's move on to a simpler question, one that should be solved in under 30 seconds. This problem gives us an expression, an expression it's equivalent to, and asks for the value of k. What we first must do is foil the second part, which will give us this. Now we can compare this to the other equation, and by observation, k is equal to eight. That problem is really easy, and while it can be considered a constant question, you should solve it instantly. Now let's move on in difficulty. Here's the next problem. It gives us an equation, tells us the difference between the two roots, and asks for the value of k. Here we have to set up the difference of roots formula. Let's plug our values into the equation. And since we know that the difference between the roots is six, we can just set these equal to each other. Now we solve and the simplified answer is plus or minus two square root of 34. That problem is a lot harder conceptually. And unless you know the difference of roots meaning, you might get stuck on it. Now let's move on. The expression is equivalent to a linear expression for all x except x equals negative two. What is the value of the constant k? When they say it's equivalent to a linear expression, that means once we simplify this fraction, there should be no remainder. The numerator must be divisible by the denominator perfectly. So what we want is to create a numerator that has the factor x plus two. Here's an equation that matches this. We can expand that new equation and can see what k and a is equal to. So through this, we solve for k and it's equal to four. Okay, now let's do a super hard problem, the type of problem you flag and come back to. This quadratic equation has two real solutions where a and b are positive constants. If the product of the solutions is equal to kab, where k is a constant, what is the value of k? Here's the problem with this type of question. It can take really long to go through and figure out the solutions and multiply them out, but in reality it's simply about knowing the formula. The formula for the product of solutions is c over a. In this question it's a b over 57. Solving this gives us k is equal to 1 over 57. And that's a wrap on our five challenging SAT math problems. Drop a comment below with which problem stumped you the most, or suggest a topic you want to see next. Follow for more, 